Hey, what's going on guys, Hexer, and today we're taking a look at the DC Collectibles DC Icon Series Nightwing. You can pick this figure up and many others like it by following the link in the description at Big Bad Toy Store. Now this guy comes with three sets of hands, his two sticks, and he also comes with a batarang and, or a, what did you call it, a night, uh, Nightwing orang? And uh, it comes attached to the string here, which you can place in some of the hands. So uh, covering those first, uh, you get the kind of signature with DC uh, icons, figures that they all come and usually in packaged uh, with these equipped, the fist. And you can see they're just closed fists where the black is same on the figure is where it's just kind of a flat black, but the blue is actually a gloss. Uh, so I don't know if that's showing up. Hopefully it is on the uh, video, but uh, there's those. Then you also get these two hands, which this one's unique for the left hand where he's got these three fingers out here or these two fingers that are just kind of out there for some reason. And you can see again with the gloss on the blue and the flat black on the rest of the fingers. And on this one, this hand is exactly like the one that is equipped already. Uh, I compared them, I was like, why did they give us two of the exact same fists? But, uh, Yep, there you go. So both of these are exactly the same. So you really don't even need this. But uh, if something happens to the other one, then I guess it's cool that you got another one. Uh, but you can see the same paint scheme on them. Those are used to hold, which I guess you would have in one hand. You could have, you know, the string uh, fishing through uh, one hand like so, while the other hand is holding the batarang, if you wanted. So, see the best way to get this in here without breaking anything. Yeah, probably like that. So, uh, if you wanted to uh, display them like that, then there you go. All right, so probably the way that, you know, I know that I am and most people are going to display their figures is just with these two hands and with his two little sticks here, which uh, the figure, you know, balances very nice uh, on his own. Doesn't need a stand or anything like that uh, because he's got the flat feet. And uh, he's still very poseable. And you can see that the entire figure is this flat black uh, where there's no gloss to it except for down here at the boots. You do have a gloss. And then whenever you get to the blue paint, uh, you can see that it's got a nice gloss to it. You can definitely see the light coming, uh, you know, shining off of it. So, And that goes all the way to the back and everything. Uh, as far as the uh, head sculpt goes, head sculpt looks really nice. I like the, the hair on him. I'm glad they didn't give him a mullet. Uh, but the mask looks really nice. You got the white eyes. You don't have the black bleeding into the uh, skin color here or vice versa. Uh, you got a little bit of uh, pink there for the lips. Uh, just really, really nice head sculpt. I like it. So uh, as far as, you know, these sticks, they don't have really a, a you know, front or, you know, one that you hold it in or vice versa. You can put them either one in his hand and he holds them very well. Uh, he doesn't have a problem with them falling out or dropping or anything like that. So uh, that's some problem. Uh, some figures I've had problems with where uh, they come with accessories that you put in their hands, but for some reason they don't fit in there very well. Uh, the Wonder Woman with her sword uh, had an issue with that where her hand wouldn't really grasp the sword to where it would kind of fall out every once in a while. Uh, this problem, this figure doesn't have any of those problems, so. And uh, just taking those out, and we'll uh, kind of cover the articulation. There's really no other thing to talk about as far as the body goes, because they're pretty much the same body as a lot of the other figures, and there's really not a ton of paint detail except for the blue that you see here and the gloss on the bottom of the feet. Uh, the head does rotate, has that same ball joint that all of them do, so you can get some movement out of that. You have the torso area going back and forth, and then you have this section which will bend front and back. Shoulders, they go in and out. Uh, they also rotate as well. You have the a bicep cut right there. Then you have the elbow bend. And then you also have a uh, little, like, kind of like a little forearm cut for some reason. I'm not really sure why he needs that or has that, but he's got it. Uh, because the wrist, they also rotate as well, so it kind of makes this pointless. Um, kind of curious why they went with that decision. But uh, these also go left to right, left to right on that one as well. You have the legs that go forward, and not really bad because of the butt, but they go in and out. Uh, they are on a ball, so he can 
get a little bit of you know twisting in and out uh, not a thigh cut but you do have the double jointed knees and you also have the feet going back and forth and left to right oh yeah and you do have a calf cut as well which I don't ever use because anytime you just kind of do it to the side it just the muscles don't line up and it just it, look, it looks kind of silly uh, to me so uh, I much prefer just kind of using what I can out of that uh, the little balls here at the hips but anyways a uh, really cool figure I'm glad to add it to my shelf I uh, wish this line was continuing on but they're gonna be canceled or they have canceled it and they're gonna be coming out with DC essential figures which uh, the one for him, you know, doesn't look too bad, but I still love these Icon series figures, so I'm going to keep, comp you know, complete them all. But if uh, you want to pick up this figure or any others like it, uh, you can follow the link in the description and buy it at Big Bad Toy Store. All right, talk to you guys later. Peace.